Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we will be discussing another problem from our SD sheet that is dynamic programming was a section we were doing. So the problem for today is minimum number of jumps. So let's understand this problem. Let's have a look what you are given in this. You are given an array. Okay, let me take it directly on the whiteboard and then I'll explain it to you. Let me just check if I'm live. Yes, we are. Okay. Fine. So, what do we have? We have. Okay. What do we have to do in this question? Let me tell you. So, this is an array that is given to you. Each element in this array represents the maximum number of steps that you can take from that particular position. The question wants you to tell in how many minimum jumps, basically minimum steps you can reach till the end of this array now you'll say that how can we do that let's understand so here when you are at this position okay i'll just write it one three five i want you to take a smaller example let me take an example like this one two three for example i have one one two and two let's say okay so I have this which tells me that if I start, I have to start from 0th index, right? And I have to reach till the end index of my array. So how many minimum jumps would be needed? So you only have one option in this case. That is you can only go one step ahead. So you took this one step. Okay. Now you are at this index. So from this index, you can again take only one step. That is the only option you have. So one jump plus another jump already two jumps you have taken. Okay. Now from here you have, let's say I will, let me add one more. Okay. For example, this is my array. Two, two. And from here also, let's say I can take two steps. Okay. So now when I am at this position, I have two options. That is I take just one step. Then I take another step one, one, right? Because this tells you that you can definitely take two steps, but that doesn't mean you, you can't take one step. Okay. This is the maximum permissible steps that you can take. For example, when I was here, the maximum permissible steps was one. That was the only option I had. So I took one step. Now from here, this actually tells you that at max you can reach two. If I take two steps directly, okay. If I take two, basically, if I use, utilize that this entire amount. So actually I'm taking one step only. Why? This is a one step which actually takes me two indexes ahead. This is what it means. Try to understand the where is the difference. The difference is this two tells you that you can directly take one step which covers two places first place second place when i had only one step to take i could only cover one index right now you can cover this simply tells you that you can cover two indexes in just one step right so total steps that you took and now you are at the end of the array that was your goal so total steps i took was three i want to check if there is any other possibility which is taking me lesser number of steps so i want to give minimum steps in which i can reach the end of my array if there is no such possibility for example if it was zero here uh, and it was zero here as well one zero itself is enough to not reach to the end because from here you are blocked you cannot move any step ahead if i change this question to this array we are not going to this test case it's a little too much for explanation you will understand from these smaller cases itself for example if i had a if i had an uh, example which is one three two two rest all are same i have just changed one one param value here so i am starting from zeroth index i have no option but to take one step okay which is taking me only one index ahead which is this so this is actually telling you the number of jumps so one jump already done now from this index you have three possibilities Mo actually more one is that you if you go to this index by taking only one step which actually comprises of comprises of one jump then when you come here you can go two steps ahead so there are two if i have two given here that means either i take two steps like this one plus one jump or i take directly one jump 
okay which is taking me two places ahead right so there are two possibilities from there you have already taken one possibility from here then you are moving to here so think that i what i want to uh, tell you here that see in which direction we are going we are kind of going in a direction of recursion what is that how many possibilities we have now if i take one plus one jumps like this so total jumps that i have taken till last index is one plus one uh, total four right if when i am at this step okay considering i am here i directly take one jump which takes me two places ahead right which is also an option for this index so so far i have reduced my jumps to three now in this option in this case i have now three as my number of jumps there is other possibility also here what is that possibility okay forget it now can i even minimize it yes so here you knew that you had lots of possibilities that is one 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 steps like this i can take if i am at index which is having value three or i could have taken directly three steps ahead right or i could have taken two two and then one that's completely on you i chose to take one step and from here then whatever options i had i chose that what if i directly jump which is taking me three places ahead one Two, three, because three is the maximum permissible values that I can go further in my array, right? Indexes. So total jump now I have is one only, and how many places I have gone? Total three places. So one plus one. This is this is not here. So total jumps I have taken is total two, and I cannot reduce it further. This is the minimum number of jumps that I can take. So in short, I want you to in get an idea of recursion tree from here. and that is from where we move to an another approach tp approach in which we will be reducing this time complexity from big of n to the power n to you will see what why big of n to the power n c every here you remember what we discussed of selecting an option and not selecting an option right we had two choices whenever we were doing previous question if you remember uh, either we choose to take that option and if we choose it then what are the possibilities we are getting here the problem is it's not just limited to binary options so 0 and 1 that is choosing and not selecting right here we have as many options as the value at that present index right so when i am at 0th index i had an option i chose to take it so for example this is your array i chose this once jump and then i have an array which is to do to like this now from here you have an option you take only one step when i am when i am calculating for this index another option is you directly take two steps and another option is you directly take three steps so if you take one step you are actually ending up at another index of this array which starts from 2 to 2 so i'm just writing the starting index 2 to 2 this is the array that you will be operating on if you take only one index if you directly to one jump which is landing you at next index if you are taking one jump every see every branch is comprising of one jump now this value represents that how many steps you have moved ahead so if i take a jump which directly takes me two steps ahead so i am basically dealing with this two which is basically this remaining array okay and if i directly take a jump comprising of three indexes i have de de actually reached the end of my array right last two now there is no more i can so you see how many jumps i took from beginning one and this another branch two jumps totally so this task to eliminate this n to the power n of time complexity you see how many branches you are creating for every option you you have that ai number of options right so to reduce this time complexity see what we are going to do here i'll directly take this code and then help you understand what we are actually doing let me just check if you guys okay in case you have any doubts you can write it in the chat okay let's understand what we are going to actually do so again i'll say that this dp approach is not very intuitive definitely the approach that we are going to solve it with but one second why is it
hope you can see the font. Okay. So see what we have we are trying to do here in order to operate over this array. Let me take this array now. Fine. Let's have a look. So guys, at every step I have an option when I am at for example one, three, five, eight will not go entirely through this array i'll just show you some iterations then you will understand exactly what is happening in this so basically we are taking three parameters here what are those parameters let's say i am starting from a zeroth index total what you have to turn is jumps so my answer will be present in jumps this max index represents as and when i'll be iterating over my array right so this max index tells me that if i am at this index right that is index one what is the maximum index that I can reach if I take, choose to take the total three steps? So basically you will be reaching one, two, three. This index i plus three, right? That is the index that you will finally reach. So I will be storing that maximum index that I can reach from that particular array, right? So that I can generate my answer. You will see that. And let's see what is this end index. You will understand once I iterate over it. Starting from here. Initially, I'm, I'll be updating my answer here. Jumps is zero. Your end index is zero. Okay. And your max index is also zero. Fine. See. So, max index will be telling me the max value of current what I have. And I am right now, my i is at index zero, right? And what is the value of index zero? One. So, maximum index that you can reach if I am at this position, the maximum index you can reach is this right so i is here and you can reach till i equal to 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and i'll update it as and when i move okay so max index right now your max index will be updated to 1 correct okay if end index is equal to end was what it is 0 you'll see what it means just stay with me so if end index is i, what is your i? i is 0 and end and, and index is also 0. This tells me that you have exhausted all the moves that you can take from that particular array, right? That is where you increase the number of jumps. How? You'll see. Wait, wait. So this, because this is just one iteration, you won't get it. Just wait for it. Right now, as my i is at 0th index and I started from here, my and index was also pointing to 0. I increased my jump. Okay, my jump become, becomes 1. And my end index now points to max index. Why? My end index is pointing to max index, which is 1 right now. Okay, now in for the next iteration, uh, this end, this will not happen here. If end index is greater than or equal to array, we have not reached the end of your array, so that will not. Now your i is here. Let's see what we are doing. For you have to calculate if I am at this position, right? You already have reached here by taking one jump, right? And from here, maximum index what you can reach that will be updated in your max index. So from here, 1 plus 3 is 4, right? So max index will be updated to 4 right now. And it is max of your current max index value. So max index will be updated with 4. That is fine. Next is what? Next I want to check what was my end index. My end index is actually pointing to where I am standing right now. So that means I am already, I have already exhausted my steps to reach here. I need to increase the jump. I need to increase my jump in order to reach wherever I want to from this particular index. So this is the reason I will increase my jumps count. Okay. And your end index will be updated with max index. Fine. That means, that tells me your max index was this right your end index tells you that from this position no matter how many jumps you take the maximum that you can reach will be this only okay now moving on to the next iteration i my i comes here okay i see that right now you see max index is max of what other maximum number of steps that you can reach from here so max index is four and from here if i take one jump right the maximum jump 
uh, the maximum number of steps that jump will comprise will be 2 plus 5 that is index 7 you will directly reach at index 7 okay so i updated with 7 right now now end index is what your end index is 4 right right now your end index is pointing to 4 and your current i is pointing to 2 so this does not hold true and that is the reason i have not increased the count of jump why is it so see i have already made my jump to that is when I've reached from here and that is what maximum I can go from here. So I anyways, I anyway want to minimize my number of jumps. So why not take a bigger jump that get, that covers more number of places? That is the intuition behind doing this, right? And meanwhile, I when I am at the subsequent steps, I am checking that at this index, is there a need to update the jumps? No, right? Because you have already, if you consider the jump from here, you have already reached this max end index, right? This is what it represents. And now when I am here, you are checking your end index is what for? Is it greater than array dot No, it's not. Okay, you move to the next iteration. Is there something else that I need to update? Right now your max index is 7. Okay, fine. Moving on to the next index. From here, you see that you will you update your max index? Yes, I will because if I am here, the maximum that I can uh, this is your index 3, and from here you can take total 8 steps. So, maximum index will be 11, correct? That is where you can reach. And what, what, what was the total length of this array? I think 11. So, the last index of this array would be 10, right? Okay, now you'll check this. If n index is i, what is my, my end is still pointing to 4 and it's not equal to i. You check if n index is greater than equal to, no, that is also not true. There is no other update. You move your i here. Now when you are here, first of all, you update your max index. Max index will be what? The position here plus how many steps you can take? 13. So we will update it with 13, although this is already exceeded the length of your array. But okay. Now you are here when your end index which is 4 is equal to i. That is where you will increase your jump. Okay. And your end index will become equal to max index which tells you that from here, from here, you have already reached here now. From here, if you take directly one jump of 9 steps, you will actually reach the end index which is 13 which you will see th here that it is greater than the length of an array. So that means you have already surpassed the last index of your array and the minimum jumps that you took was 3 and that's what you will finally return. Right? So that's all for this particular problem. Let me know if you have any doubts. That you can try this. So this is the optimal way how we reduce it from big of n to the power n to big of n time complexity. Okay? So that was all for today. If you guys have no doubts, you, I'll just wrap it up. Okay. Fine everyone. Then that's all for today. See you all in the next lecture.